Hello guys, I hope you have watched the previous two videos which were on instruments and important x-rays and I hope those videos have helped you in your last moment revision and in this video I'm gonna cover the important one-liners which have been asked previously and potentially can be asked in this year's INICT as well because these are the questions where you don't apply your clinical knowledge it's just memory based and it's either you know or don't know and INSCT keeps asking these questions repeatedly not the exact same question but similar one-liners on a particular topic so this video is all about the important one-liners which I want you to remember so the first topic and very frequently asked topic is the rectal prolapse and what are the five one-liners I want you to remember the most common type is complete prolapse most common cause in children is malnutrition and in adults it's constipation and the most common surgery done in children and in old adults who are not fit for surgery the procedure is thier wiring and in fit adults the procedure is abdominal rectopexy or if the specific name is asked then you can choose ultimius procedure so the next topic is on thyroid the most frequently asked one liners on thyroid is the investigation of choice of thyroid nodule and the answer is usg guided fnac there are Two other effects which I want you to know in thyroid that is one is called jod Bezdo effect and one is the wolf chaikov effect. So you will get confused which is which. So I had a trick to remember this. In wolf chaikov you have I right. I is for inhibit. So what is wolf chaikov effect? It is iodine inhibits the thyroid hormones. So wolf chaikov effect is hypothyroidism due to iodine excess and jod Bezdo it has E in it, right? So E for excess, excess of thyroid hormone due to iodine. So don't get confused between these two. Make sure you keep this mnemonic in mind that wolf chaikov has I. So it iodine inhibits the thyroid hormones. So you will have hypothyroidism. And in jod based though, iodine will cause excess of thyroid hormones. So there will be hyperthyroidism. And the next one liner is the most common thyroid cancer. It is papillary thyroid cancer. And I also want you to remember the pathological features that is orphan anii nucleus. And another one liner, which of the following has the highest malignancy potential? And look for the cold nodule in the answer. Most common nerve injured in thyroid surgery, it is recurrent laryngeal nerve. And the next topic is trauma, which is the most important topic in INICT. You will be asked a question frequently on FAST. What is the investigation of choice in an unstable patient? Use your FAST. What is, an, what is the investigation of choice in a stable patient? It is CCT abdomen with CT angiogram and don't forget the golden hour is the first 60 minutes and you have to remember A, B, C, D, E in the trauma protocol. Please don't forget to revise this table before you go to the exam. That is GCS. And what are the one-liners which can be asked? What is the lowest possible score? That is 3. Which of these has the best prognostic value? That is motor response. And when do you intubate when GCS is less than 8? Also remember the GCS P score where P stands for absence of pupillary reflex and if there is absence of pupillary reflex you mi minus 1 from the GCS score if both the pupillary reflex are absent then you subtract 2 from the total GCS score so it's actually GCS minus P score where P is the absence of pupillary reflex the next topic is on Foley's catheter make sure to remember the color coding of Foley's what and what is what does the French exactly stand for and what does the French stand for is it the outer or the inner diameter don't get confused it's the outer diameter of the foley's or any other instrument whenever wherever you see this unit and what is a three channel foley's used for what is the third channel in a foley's used for it's used for continuous irrigation and what do you use to inflate the balloon not air not normal saline you use distilled water then coming to the next topic breast what is the most common cause of breast abscess it's Staph aureus and what is the indication for IND in a breast abscess that is at least two failed aspiration attempts and I want you to remember triple assessment which is done for breast examination that is clinical, radiological and histopathological. In clinical you do history and examination, in radiology you do the sonomammography and histopathological you take a core biopsy or a true cut biopsy and so and in sonomammography, I want you to remember an important score known as BIRADS. What does BIRADS exactly stand for? It's Breast Imaging, Reporting and Data System. Also revise this chart before going to INICT. 
what does by rights one exactly mean what does two exactly mean you will have a question you had a 40 year female and when she had a mammography report saying by rights 3 what is your next step so you need to know what to do to what by rights score and also the hormonal classification of breast cancer based on the er pr and the her to new status it's divided into the following groups so take a look at this memorize it properly because you're going to have a question saying a patient was positive er pr positive and her to positive which of the following is the type this topic is inguinal anatomy and here you need to revise all the important triangles that is triangle of doom triangle of safety hasselbeck triangle femoral triangle so make sure to remember the boundaries properly and what are the contents in each of these triangles like he may ask you a question like which of the following is not the content of triangle of pain so you will get confused in during the exam so make sure you draw it once make sure you revise the contents properly and so that you don't get confused in the exam and the next topic is on hepatobiliary system and here mostly the bile duct injury and the questions on the hepatobiliary tree is asked most of the times so you need to revise the strasburg classification for that i have already made a video and you can check it out so strasburg classification will give you an image and ask you what is the what strasburg type and there was another question which was asked previously that what is the name of the classification if along with bile duct the vascular injury is also included so you just need to remember the name it's called the hanover classification you don't need to go in detail about that just the name is enough so, so the three classification you need to remember hanover bismuth strasburg and strasburg e is nothing but the bismuth classification make sure to revise strasburg and bismuth classification because lot of times question have been asked on this how do you assess the severity of cholecystitis that's the tokyo guidelines so the next important topic i want you to revise is burns so revise the rule of 9 because a lot of questions will be asked on calculating the total surface area the next would be to calculate the amount of fluid to be given so remember the parkland formula remember if the question is what is the parkland's formula then it's 4 into body weight into total sur- burn surface area but if the question is calculate the total fu- fluid to be given in case of burns it's not the parkland formula you use you, you use the formula that is 2 into body weight into total burn surface area so be careful what the question is if the question is which of the following is the parkland formula then you will choose 4 into body weight into total burn surface area and if the question is like a patient has 36% burns and he, he is 60 kg weight calculate the total amount of fluid to be given in the first 8 hours so then you will use the formula that is 2 into 36 into the bo- into body weight and give half of that in the first 8 hours so please be, ve- be very careful while attempting these kind of mcqs and what is the ulcer that is formed in in case of burn patient it's curling ulcer and what is the procedure you do in circumferential full thickness burns it's called escherotomy next concept i want you to revise is on wounds that is which are the clean wounds which are the contaminated wounds which are clean contaminated and which are dirty wounds so make sure to revise this table and what is the probability of surgical site infection if you give prophylactic antibiotic or if you don't give prophylactic antibiotic so even the percentage has been asked and even which of the following category is a particular surgery that kind of questions have also been asked then don't forget to revise the different vascular tests like a video can be given like a patient performing a test like this and what test is being performed so this is the ruse test then you can have something called the allen's test then you will have the addson's test which there is a loss of radial pulse when you tilt the head to the same side and the next topic is shock i want you to remember this table that is on different kinds of shock there can be a lot of mcqs asked which can be asked on this table like it can give you multiple correct type or true or false type or even match the following type of questions on this table so make sure to revise this table properly so the next topic is on blood transfusion so you know universal donor and universal recipient already so we can ask you what is the most common transfusion reaction that is febrile reaction and, and the most dangerous is acute hemolytic reaction and also go through the two transfusion reaction that is trali and taco it can give you a clinical scenario kind of question that 
Immediately after blood transfusion, patient developed breathlessness and white out lung x-ray could be given and he'll ask you what is the diagnosis. So that's Tali, transfusion related acute lung injury and also revise the list of complications which can occur in a blood transfusion. So most commonly the question like which of the following is not a possibility in case of blood transfusion and he can give hypernatremia as the option. So hypernatremia is not possible and the definition of massive transfusion is asked. Transfusion of more than 10 packed RBCs in 24 hours or replacing the entire blood volume in 24 hours. So the next topic is varicose veins. So the questions like what is the most common vein affected in varicose vein that is great sharpness vein. What is the investigation of choice that is a duplex ultrasound. The names of the different tests like what is the test used to assess the SFJ incompetence that is your Brody Trendelenburg test and what is the test for DVT Perthes test. So these were the topics from where one-liners were asked in the previous two years INICT and there's a very good chance that a similar one-liner may appear in this INICT also on a similar topic. So make sure to revise all these topics once again before you appear for this exam and don't forget to watch the previous two videos as well if you have missed it regarding the x-rays and important instruments and share this video if you found this useful. To your friend who is also preparing for INIC and also subscribe because the next video will be on the important images which can be a potential MCQ in the upcoming INICT. So thank you so much for watching.